All right, what up, ladies and gents? So we're gonna talk about this incident right here, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna go over it. All right, so a lot to say about this. I don't know what was exactly said between these two parties. Uh, obviously, though, it doesn't really matter. It was nothing life-threatening enough to where uh, you should be pulling out a gun on somebody. But he's obviously driving. This dude's riding a bike. They're exchanging words of some kind. And then this guy decides to stop and get out of the truck. The moment you do that in the state of Illinois, guys, you are now considered the aggressor. Do not think for a second you are going to get off with shooting somebody in this situation and being deemed you know legally uh, indemnified like you're not justified whatsoever to stop a vehicle when a guy's on a bike get out and then confront him uh, what we then see Now, you've heard me say this many times before, know your target, consider the foreground and background. You know this because of hands, waist, and face, especially in these road rage incidents. Somebody exits the vehicle, they're coming around the corner, the edge of their vehicle, or the corner of the edge of a threshold of a building, out of a door, in through a window. You need to be looking at the hands first and foremost because hands are what kill people. Right here off the bat, you can see this guy had a gun in his hand. Now, given the totality of what we could just see here, I would say that this guy in the black probably would have been justified to smoke this dude and not only does this dumbass here in the brown let out a warning shot into the ground you see that thing ricocheted could have easily killed an innocent person uh, but then this guy then pulls out a gun and then also fires a round into the ground pulls his gun out out near here fires his own little shot i think he's probably got like a 22 or a 380 the guy in the brown is probably carrying a nine mil this is just straight up stupidity though, guys. Somebody innocent could have been killed, hurt. Um, this is a battle of ego, which is just stupid as hell. And um, both these guys, I mean, if neither of them got arrested ever, which I'm sure at least one of them was the dude in the truck probably because of the license plate, they could have died for nothing, for no reason whatsoever. And they sit here bumping chest like a couple of fucking idiots. <laughs> And this is my favorite part. I'm fucking army, bro. I have served my country, okay? Dude, go fuck yourself. You've got no right to be jumping out of a car, firing rounds negligently into the ground with your finger still on the trigger from what I could see here in this blurry imagery. This is just such a stupid display of retardedness. I, I can't even, I don't even know how else to describe it. So, he says, I'm oh, army, I've served this country, bro. Life could have been changed forever. One of them could be dead, in prison forever. And then he makes a racist comment as he's driving off, and then the other dude pops a shot at the vehicle. I can't express how absolutely fucking stupid all this is, guys. Do not get caught up in these types of stupid ego battles. Both of you are probably going to go to prison, at least at a minimum, for endangering the public, discharging a firearm within a residential area, and God knows what other types of charges, especially if one of you would have just pointed the gun at each other. Keep driving, move on, let your you know, ego go and just don't get involved in this type of stuff right here. I would avoid this at all costs. Somebody says something while I'm riding a bike or, or whatever, I could care less. Not unless they pull out a weapon or are an active threat against me or my family. Am I ever going to stop to engage somebody in this type of a situation? And even then, I'm not going to stop unless I absolutely have to, especially if I'm with my family, especially if I'm with my family. I'm not putting them in danger like that. So 
a couple of lessons to learn from this, guys. Avoid violence at all costs. If you can, avoid it. Don't get out of your vehicle and start some ego battle with somebody else who said some words to you. Don't fire negligently, whether it's intentional or not, it's negligent into the ground because ricochets can still absolutely hit somebody else and kill an innocent person. And then lastly, that racist bullshit comment this guy makes, such a stupid, cheap way of trying to express your anger when resorting to racist name calling. It's just so dumb all across the board. If I ever had any of my students involved in this, I would immediately revoke their license. I would call the state police and I'd say, you need to take this dude's license away. I would never train somebody like this, especially this dude's coming to be an army veteran. Like what a disgraceful display of idiocy. Uh, I, I can't say enough bad things about this video right here, guys. So don't do it. Take yourself uh, seriously as a man, as a woman, you know, have some stoic value about you. Don't lower yourself to the negative vibrational frequency and tune of those around you that's what people want in our government and what we call you know these elites these people who've been in charge forever they want us to be dumb and be drunk and be stoned and be killing one another and be shooting guns negligently all over the place why because then that makes you easy to control you need to have a strong mind strong emotional resilience you need to be educated and intelligent physically capable and strong of living your life in a self-sustained fashion. Otherwise, you're a sucker. You're a sucker to the system that they want you to be a victim to. They want you to be dumb. They want you to be numb. They want you to be drunk and fucking high and doing dumb shit like this. Because when society is just doing a bunch of dumb shit like that, guess who makes all the money? Guess who keeps all the power? Guess who gets to control how the wheels are spinning in this world? Don't be a victim to that. Don't be a sucker. You're better than that. All of you are. And if you need training or guidance on this, that is exactly what I'm here for. I can help you cultivate that mental mindset, that emotional resiliency, that attitude, so that you can ultimately develop the skill sets and become a real man or a real woman. Totally up to you. But you got to make that first step. Choice is always yours. Take care, everyone.